Welcome home. Took you long enough. Where have you been? Oh, right. You had a class at 6 p.m., correct? From 6 to 7.30? Oh, okay. 7.45. Gotcha. I mean, it's about 10.30 p.m. right now, so... What took you so long? I know it wasn't a long walk from campus to your place. It took me less than 30 minutes to walk here from the parking lot on campus, so... What were you doing, hmm? It's not safe walking home alone this late at night, you know. You went to the movies after class? Alone? With friends? Yeah, right. Like you have friends. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to get so worked up like that over a silly joke. I'm just asking because I'm curious. Why? Because I was worried about you. You're my favorite classmate in the whole world. <laughs> hmm? I mean, it is kind of funny, to me at least. I love seeing your reactions whenever I tease you. It's a hobby of mine. I just like doing it. What am I doing here? Uh, it's a party and I got invited. Jeez, are you that dense? And here I thought you were a smartass. Turns out you're just a dork. <laughs> well, why not? Why can't I be in your room? For all I know, this could have been your roommate's room. I just wanted to chill somewhere more quiet, so I picked a random room. Your roommate said it was fine, so I assumed it was theirs. Did that answer your question? Hmm? I mean, if there's a problem, talk to your roommate about it. Don't be mad at me. I'm just an innocent bystander. And by the look of yours, I'm guessing you didn't know about the party either. <laughs> yeah, I sensed a lack of communication between you and your roommates. If only you were a bit more outgoing, maybe they would feel more comfortable telling you about the party. I mean, you definitely look like someone who needs to relax a little bit and have a drink or two. When was the last time you truly relaxed and let loose, hmm? Lucky for you, there's a party going on right now, right here. So just relax, go get a drink, and enjoy yourself. Hmm, why not? You need to learn to relax for real. What are you so worried about? The midterms are over. That's why we're celebrating. Well, at least everyone else is. Everyone except you, I guess. Nope. I'm not leaving your room. Never. Why should I leave? I like it here. It's fun here. Teasing you is enough entertainment for me. <laughs> Want me to leave? Make me. Oh, but just FYI, if you put your hands on me, I will pour my drink all over your bed. Just let me hang out here and we won't have a problem. I don't like it here. Uh, but I can't guarantee I won't tease you anymore though. I just love teasing you. Your reactions brings me all sorts of joy. Plus, I'm here to keep you company, so you're not all alone by yourself on a Friday night. I mean, what else are you gonna do right now? Hmm, assignments? What assignments? You can't be serious right now. 
Midterms just ended this week. There's no way there are many assignments due this week. What? I'm, I'm sorry, what? Next week's assignments? Are you kidding me right now? My goodness, can you just chill for tonight? You can start them next Monday. It's Friday night right now. Have some fun. Don't you know how to relax? Also, I noticed you're acting strange lately. I mean, no stranger than usual. You're just shy, normally. But recently, it's like you're trying to avoid me or something. Doing homework when I'm right here in your room. Trying to get me out too? Like, what's up with you? Any other person would be dying to have me in their room. Are you perhaps nervous because I'm here by any chance? Hmm? Or perhaps you're excited that I'm even in your room right now. Which one is it? Hmm? Hmm? I know your type. The shy, introverted student that gets super awkward and nervous when talking to the pretty and popular student. Right? I know your type so well. You wish you can get close to her and be able to talk to her without being awkward. Right? Well, I'm here now. Don't you want to talk to me? Why are you so quiet like you're trying to avoid me? Is it my clothes that are too revealing for your taste? Or is it perhaps that you still hold a grudge against me for that one time my presentation got picked as the best in class? Or when I got an outstanding student award that one semester when you came in second? Or was it the fact that I, quote unquote, stole your scholarship this semester? Oops, looks like I struck a nerve, didn't I? <laughs> That got a strong reaction from you, hmm? Who would have thought that the pretty student is also good academically? You know you're not the only smart student in school, right? We're in college now. No matter how smart and good you were, there are bound to be people who are better than you. But that doesn't mean you're not a good student. You just gotta keep your head down and keep working. Maybe not now, but I meant like in general. Now, we need to relax. More specifically, you need to relax. Nope. I'm not leaving, remember? Why do you want me to leave so bad? I thought you had a crush on me. Now you want me to leave? Isn't this what you always dreamt of, no? Oops, did I strike another nerve? You're so fun to tease. Ugh, fine. If you want me to leave that badly, then I guess there is no other choice. Psych, I'm not leaving anywhere. Since you don't want to relax, and my teasing got you all worked up, I might as well go all the way and make you even more nervous. Here, let me get on your lap. Hi there. Is this too close for your comfort? Good. I want you to be uncomfortable. I'm not leaving, and you are definitely not going anywhere unless I say so. Mustard. That's cute. So do you think I'm pretty? Hmm? How do I know? Well, let's just say I just do, okay? 
Plus, it's not exactly hard to not notice when you're staring at me in class when I'm not looking. And then you try to pretend like you didn't do it when I turned around. It's all really nice and cute. And I like it. Maybe that's why you got distracted with your studies and perhaps forgot to submit your scholarship application in time. Yep, that's right. I didn't steal your scholarship. Those are given out on a first-come, first-served basis, and you just happen to submit your application a day late. How do I know? A little bird told me. What a shame, since a smart student like yourself would make such a silly mistake. What happened? Hmm. Could it be that thinking about me got you distracted? You're blushing again. I think it's very cute when you're like this. I know your type. The shy introverted type that usually sits in the back of the class minding your own business. The type that sort of has trouble talking to the pretty and popular student. Hmm? Like when you see someone pretty, you would marvel at their beauty and think to yourself, wow. She is so pretty. Or oh, wow. No way she would notice me. And you would start to notice things like, Oh, she has such a pretty smile. Right? Hey. Do you like my smile? Hmm? <laughs> Judging by the way you are looking at me right now, I will take that as a yes. Whenever you see me in class, do you get these feelings that, like, you want to be with me? Or at least, be close to me? Do you want to be able to talk to me regularly without being awkward? Do you want to be the one that makes me smile and laugh? Well, I'm here now, aren't I? What are you going to do now? Oh my, is that the music beats playing from the speaker? Or is it your heartbeat that's beating this fast? Oh yeah, I do know, because my hands are resting on your chest this entire time. Hmm, too nervous to speak up? Or you don't know what to do in this situation? Is it perhaps you think I'm out of your league? Isn't that why you're so quiet right now? Can I ask you something else then? Why do you think we're always in the same classes, hmm? I mean, we're in the same major, sure. But that doesn't really explain why we always attend the same classes at the same time. Every week, every semester, since freshman. Could it be that I also enjoy seeing you every day? That's why I tried to get into the same class as you? Could it be that I find you cute and adorable? Perhaps? What do I want? Hmm, I think you know what I want. What? No, I'm not joking. This isn't a joke. Can you stop that? Stop being so hard on yourself. Do you feel so unworthy of me that you think I might have the ulterior motive? Like I can't possibly find you cute or attractive? Like I'm probably faking this just to tease you for fun? I mean teasing you is fun to me, but that's besides my point. Is that what you're worried about? So instead of letting yourself go and enjoying this moment, you might be sitting here worried and anxious, not wanting this moment to stop because it feels so good to be wanted, but terrified that the other shield will drop any second. <sighs> this girl can't possibly like you, right? 
she's just doing this to set you up. To humiliate you. To potentially hurt you. Well, since you won't stop being so hard on yourself, why won't I add more to that mess in your mind? Well, what if I told you that I'm being sincere and I do really find you cute and have no ulterior motives at all? But on the other hand, maybe you're right to be worried and anxious. Maybe. Since teasing you was fun, because I know you hate it. Maybe I did it because I simply think it's funny to mess with a quiet student. Well, who do you choose to believe? Do you want to trust me or yourself? Do you trust yourself enough to believe I'm telling you the truth? Let me help you decide then. Who do you believe more? You or me? <laughs> Does that help you decide who to believe? If not, I guess I need to do it again then. How about now? Do you believe me now? It will be impossible for you to think about anything or anyone but me now. Yeah, I will be living in your head, rent free, 24-7 now. I think that's a good thing. For me at least. Well, let me take this. Hello? What's up? Yeah, I'm still at the party. Where are you at? No, I'm pretty sure I'm still at the party. Why? What's wrong? Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, I'm coming. Meet me outside. Alright. Well, apparently, one of my friends blacked out and vomited in the bathroom downstairs. So... We're gonna go take her home. I need to help my friend get back home, so I better get off now. But this isn't over, just so you know. I won't stop until I take over your life completely. <laughs> well, I'll let you get back to your assignments now, I guess. As if you can return to doing homework after that. <laughs> Hey, if you still haven't decided whether or not to believe me next time we meet, then let's just say you won't be able to focus on your studies for the rest of the semester. And I mean that literally. I'll make sure of it. Okay, bye. See you next week.